So right now, brothers are saying there is skill-based matchmaking in Action Defy. Yay! Apparently, I got a video for y'all, folks. I don't think you're gonna like this one, guys. Uh, fasten your seat belts, stop rolling your fat doobies around, and remember to put that cookie down. Put that cookie down. And you guys gotta understand that this is happening while the homie Ape Thoughts has been gaslit, and also while the homie has been hating on X Defy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, apparently this is all going on. We're gonna get right into it. Like this video if you think skill-based matchmaking has no place in video games. Dislike the video if you think skill-based matchmaking should be in video games, all right? All right, let's get to the content now, boo-boo. Roll it. And today is a sad day. Yeah. I, I hate that I have to make this video, but I have to make this video. Unfortunately, I found out that X Defia actually has skill-based matchmaking. <laughs> it's hidden, but it's, it's there. And no! It's better if I just show you guys the proof here, and then okay. we'll get into my thoughts on it before I even get into the gameplay. I don't want to beat around the bush too much. Let's just get into this right here. So I saw this comment oh, on one no. of Nero's videos. Uh -oh. SBMM is 100% in X Defiant. And I can, I can prove, it. prove it. Now, I'm still waiting on this guy to prove it, but okay. I saw another comment which kind of proves what he's talking about. 90% sure X Defiant has no SBMM, the same way Destiny 2 claimed to have no SBMM. It's not searching okay. for skill, but it's still MMR balancing every lobby after it finds the players. So if you're good in solo, it's still you and the four lowest performers against the five highest performers. But it doesn't end there. 100% has SBMM in every match. Every other okay. game, I get placed against level 30s that don't miss, and my team are sucking on bricks at spawn. They just <laughs> lobbies each match. This guy says, I call BS on SBMM only being in the welcome playlist. How would the game know your skill off rip? And what's the point? Yo, we definitely need like exclusive ace. We need the scientist from Drifters or I mean like Drifter being a scientist. Or, we, we need Drifter. We need, where is Drifter? Where is Drifter when you need it? Where's J God, man? Where's the homie J God at? We need these seconds to conduct a scientific study because you guys remember, right? I'm not sure for how long you guys have been around, but you remember when Modern Warfare 19 skill based matchmaking thing was coming out, right? It was the same thing, right? Like people would gaslight each other. People would say that, no, bro, you're just bad, bro. There is no skill based matchmaking in Modern Warfare 19, duh. There is not, uh, there is none, and some people were believing there was, and then uh, I believe Equalize Espresso, Exclusive Ace. J God, uh, Drifter, everybody, all of these folks have done like like NASA level like scientific studies, and later on they found traces of skill based matchmaking. Bruh. They did, they did found traces of it. Not just like some, they found like 20 billion traces of skill based matchmaking in the game, dog. And they did prove the fact that there was skill based matchmaking. Is the same but it happened with this game? I guess find out next. But wait for it, guys of even having SBMM only in the welcome playlist if you're not going to have it for the other modes. But it gets worse. Keep coping, uh -oh. the game has SBMM, and y'all are being lied to by Mark Rubin, lol. X Defiant has SBMM, says St. Brick, and he posts a bunch of close matches to prove his point. X Defiant, you can say what you want, the fact is SBMM is in the game. X Defiant, okay. are we sure SBMM doesn't exist? Just oh, weird, my games have gotten super sweaty this week. I, I think Blame Truth is, pull is about to pull a fast one on us real quick. Game with no break. At least with COD, I would have had one break from the sweat by now. Last yeah. time I popped off was Friday, I went 33 and 5. Since then, I've been with CDL wannabes. I also found out that Nero is cheating. Look at this. You have zero recoil, Nero. Grow a pair, cheating virgin. I actually lost the comment, but I got accused of cheating as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm straight up aimbotting. Guys, <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. I have to combat this SBMM. Bum and if you can't out. tell by now, I'm not serious. I'm not serious because these <clears throat> people saying this stuff are these brain rotted Call of Duty fucking morons. There is no SBMM in X Defiant. Absolutely. <laughs> Pump the brakes, bro! So you're saying you got us? You're saying, what the hell? No! So X Defiant Dev agrees that with no skill based matchmaking, if you're not finding easy enemies in Ubisoft Shooter, it's because you are the easy enemy. You are the easy enemy. Yeah, it, it says you, you, are you, are you, are you? Are you the easy enemy? That's what it says. Okay, let's find out what happens next. Absolutely none. I have played these games longer. And by these games, I mean Call of Duty and first-person shooters longer than most of these people making oh, these claims have go, been yeah, alive. Yeah. They were a thought in their dad's frontal lobe while I was oh, playing damn. Call of Duty 4 and getting my... In other words, in simple English, she's trying to say that you were a mistake. Uh, not my words. 
that that's what he's trying to say i'm just trying to translate if that if that y'all yeah you, you know i'm just trying to trying to translate for y'all folks at home right now a gold ak-47 okay. straight up All i'm right. telling you right now i've been here from about the beginning okay. there is no sbmm and x defiant period except in the welcome playlist and it's in the welcome playlist to help new players. That's what SBMM is designed to do. That welcome playlist disappears once you're level okay. 25 and you have some attachments unlocked and you've learned the game a little bit. And then... You know what? Uh, we have, like, something else that's coming up as well, but... I, and I really hope there is no skill-based matchmaking in this game, but I, I don't know why, though. Like, I might be the only one that's, like, thinking this, but, like, dog, like... What? No, absolutely, okay? Say no to skill-based matching, okay? Gamers demand no skill-based matching. Gamers demand free-to-play games. Or not necessarily free-to-play games, but like... If a game is $70, no microtransactions needed in that game, okay? Make online free-to-play. Gamers demand more. Gamers deserve more. Absolutely. We starting a revolution here, baby. We starting a revolution, okay? Like the video if you agree. If gamers deserve free online i'm talking about playstation and xbox pc masters don't laugh okay you never know one day you might also have to pay for online just like us okay you never know so don't laugh okay don't laugh don't laugh you never know okay but but here's the thing though right absolutely no place for skill based matchmaking but deep down i have a feeling though i have a feeling you what if one day like you know we have exclusive ace drifter conducting these scientific experiments and they discover traces of skill based matchmaking in the game then what then what that's gonna start ww5 though and, and for just the memes though like i i kind of want to see that though yeah, I, mean, I, kinda, I kinda wanna see that man. like uh, thoughts I, I, let, let me know where, where you at man you're on your own the way god intended when i was born my mother didn't see that i was a nine pound fat ass and say doctor doctor we need to make the other babies fat like my kid so that he feels better about himself call this real life sbmm or doctor doctor my baby has a gigantic head can you inflate the other baby's heads to, to match his gigantic cranium fuck that shit man i was born fat as fuck with a big head i gotta work with what i'm given thankfully i grew into the head and i leaned out but let's go back to that one particular comment because we actually got some clarification. This is the least amount of skill-based uh -oh. matchmaking we have ever had in a first-person shooter. Yeah. Before I even get into this, literally... Basically, like, if you're doing really, really bad in this game, you suck. <laughs> And it's all right. It's completely fine. Guys, listen, man. It is perfectly fine to suck in video games, man. It is, it is perfectly fine to sometimes not go on a killing spree. Sometimes it is perfectly fine to just get zero kill and 20 deaths. Okay? It is perfectly fine, guys. It happens, though. You know, it happens, guys. Like, whatever. This is how you learn and evolve. And you learn, you know, learning and growing. Ever heard of that? learning and growing stunning and brave strong independent yeah exactly like you know sometimes you get your your uh, yeah can i say that word on youtube probably not sometimes y you get squash other days you actually annihilate you right exactly though so it it'd be what it'd be man it's just a game bro just go search for a match in Exifiant. Just rock a match solo. Just search okay. solo. You will get into a lobby with input based matchmaking on in about two to three seconds go try it it is impossible for this game to have skill-based matchmaking. Some people were citing the uh, fact that lobbies disband after. Okay, for me, it takes longer than two to three seconds, though. But, but like, uh, how long does it take you guys? Like, I think it takes everybody longer than two to three seconds, you Two to three seconds, you come on. Sure. That is due to a bug. And okay. even though they disband, again, you find matches in, like, three seconds. There is no SBN. Oh, they have a Libertard, like, skin or something like that? Bruh. What the hell? What the hell? Hey, yo. Libertad, Libertad, okay, not Libtard, okay. Uh, I thought it said Libtard or something. Span, again, you find matches in like three seconds. There is no SBMM and X Defiant. Absolutely none. And I don't even mean in the lobby either. I actually thought it worked like old Call of Duty and would put the worst players on your team. I was wrong. Eggs clarified it. Check it out. He okay. says, well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news here, but our team balancing works pretty standard in a draft-like order. This is in response to the whole lobby balancing thing. Okay. Sometimes, only if there's a massive difference in player ratings, there could be a slight variation in that draft slight. order, okay. but never stacking like you mentioned. Every single game works like this. Every single match kind of works like this, which makes the variety outstanding. I can play this game solo, and if I perform well and actually try to go for the W, 
I, I can go on win streaks solo. I went on uh -huh. a 10 match win streak oh, wow. solo. I have oh. yet to play with a full party. I mainly play with one or two other friends at a time. And there's also party-based matchmaking. So if you're playing solo, you're oh, more wow. likely to play people playing solo or maybe they're in a party of just them and a buddy or okay. something. You know, it tries to match you based on the things that actually matter. Things that actually are negative to matchmaking. Party-based mm. matchmaking should be a thing. Solo-based matchmaking should be a thing. You should be matched based on if you're in a party or not. But as far as actual skill-based matchmaking goes, no fucking way. Look at this gameplay right here. This is one of the best gameplays I've had on the game as far as... Yeah, and, and you know the craziest thing here is that, like, I, I've seen so many people say that uh, after they have played X Defined, they actually said that we need skill-based matchmaking in this game. Oh. That skill-based matchmaking is perfectly fine in Call of Duty as well. Yeah. Just because, like, they realize that skill-based matchmaking actually helps them do better in Call of Duty. You really cannot make this up, dog. You really, <laughs> you really cannot make this up, bro. And I, it didn't want to be, man. And apparently, there are talks about Black Ops 6 getting banned because of a mission that may or may not be in the game, okay? I'm not sure if you guys got to see it or not. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left because these suckers have banned Nick Merckx and Dr. Disrespect. And now there's another drama going around. Check out both of these videos and I'll see you right there.